the installation video for the long-awaited OPUI, named 3.0 this time. A lot of people have been asking me to update this, so I did. And I wanted to give it back to the community because uh, I like the UI, I like messing with it, and I want to share it. So hopefully this installation video will help you. It's now ready for Warlord to Draenor. And I'm going to take you through the steps, which are pretty easy just to get everything up and running. So after you've installed the files in the folders, which is pretty self-explanatory, just follow what the folder names are. Like if it says character name, make sure you put those folders in, or files in the character name of your name of your character in your realm, etc. So I have like just a level one character here just so I could start from scratch like I've never installed the UI before. So this is your character right here. What you want to do is you want to hit add-ons on the left. And just hit disable all for now okay but you want to enable add-on control panel so just make sure add-on control panel is enabled and everything else is off just for now that's all you want to do is just have add-on control panel ready go ahead and enter the game it should load pretty quickly since there's no add-ons enabled and once you're in what you want to do is you want to click the add-ons button and what the add-on control panel allows you to do is have sets of add-ons that automatically load so what you want to do is go to the bottom left and go to sets and just on the top you should see OPUI. Just hit load. If you don't see that, just turn on all the, just check all the add-ons that were included in the package. But you should see that there, no problem. Once you have that, what you want to do is you want to hit reload UI. Now you're going to see a mess on the screen obviously because none of these are configured. However, there are some add-ons here that you won't have like, like this, like Zygor that I use that are not included obviously because that's a paid add-on and once you have this cluster you know what just go ahead and hit hide on that hit close on the Hermes if it's there and if you have the LVI message up in the middle just hit skip process that might reload the UI again as well now what you want to do is you want to click the C on the top right which is the LVI config you want to go to your profiles here you want to go to your existing profiles here and just click OP UI 3.0. Now that should clean everything up really neatly. If you're not a rogue, because I have this reserved for the combo bar, which is under the Comergy settings, you can enable another one of these action bars. I'm going to have a non-rogue setup up real soon i use it on my warrior i have another action bar here but in the meantime it's really simple just use one of these action bars they're like one of these or one of or this one and just you know shrink it down and match it with this action bar and just put it here on the right and you should be fine in the meantime until i obviously come out with the you know the healer tank version again so after you've loaded up the profile go to click general and you're going to see pixel perfect here uncheck pixel perfect and hit accept and what that basically does is just puts the borders around everything. Pixel perfect is, you know, LVY without a border. So that makes everything nice and, and clean. I'm gonna hit close if anything is there to close out. Now, you will basically wanna go into the profiles of every add-on that was included. So what we could do, already getting guild invites. What you could, what you, where I start, I like to start is with the Vex power which is over here, this, this, the power bar that's going to come right underneath your, your action bars there. So go to interface, add-ons, vex power, hit the plus sign, go to profiles, and right where you see the profiles over here, what you wanna do is you wanna click the down arrow, go to OPUI 3.0, and hit load and activate. And that'll put the bar down there. It's set to only show when target or in combat. The colors are all fixed. Everything's really clean with that. Now you want to hit OK. Again, you want to do the same thing with Pitbull. So you type in slash Pitbull config, or you can go to interface add-ons again. Click profiles. Go to your existing profile. And go to OPUI 3.0. And that should fix the portraits for you right there. Now this is actually Comergy, so you can load the profiles for that and, and get that all fixed up. Exorcist, which is this thing, should already be set up for you. However, if you're on a 1080 monitor, 
Stuff might look a little messy. You might have to copy what I have here manually. I've tried releasing 1080 um, profiles. I tried to set my screen to 1080 and create separate profiles for where things uh, should be, but it never works for people. So you might have to just move this around until I get a one-click install going or get help from someone to do that. But the Exorcist bar should already be there, but in case it isn't, just hit slash FX because this doesn't really have profiles. And you can move it around or put it in place. And that's really how you move around FX. If you can't move it, these locks handle giving you the ability to move it around, you see? And then, you know, put it in place, you know, make sure everything is, is lined up, and then hit the lock symbol again. And that should fix the Exorcist add-on. One important thing to note, you can update pretty much all of these add-ons. Do not update Exorcist. There's no reason to. It still functions perfectly fine in WAD. And I found someone edited the Exorcist that I included. I wish I had his name so I could give him credit, but it was years ago, like two years ago, three years ago he edited. I remember it being a while ago when I first found it. And what it did was it has borders around the icons that flash. So it makes everything look, you know, has good synergy with the rest of the add-on with the, with, the, the, with the icons that I included um, that are the crisp uh, icons from WoW interface that someone has edited all those icons. It really matches this entire setup. So do not update Forte if you're using cur the Curse pr uh, program or anything like that to update the add-ons. Don't, uh, don't update that. Okay. So after all that is done, you have Scatter up here. Now Scatter is a little tricky. So you still want to do you still want to do what you do with the other add-ons. Just right-click Scatter on the right, go to Configure, click the plus arrow on the left here, go to Profiles, and go to OP UI 3.0. Bang! But it still is up here. Okay. Now how you want to fix that is you want to hit the C on LVI. What you want to do is you want to go to Embed Settings under the add-on skins here on the left you want to click single embed system and that puts scatta here if scatta is not written here write it in yourself s-k-a-d-a hit enter you want to go to embed transparency and then you want to click scatta backdrop so it now basically what you have is a scatta here with no backdrop you see no backdrop gives it a clean look and matches the the chat area here and that's about it that's pretty much the setup so far you're gonna probably want to tweak some things this everything looks really cool in action you know you have the scrolling combat text here on the right and left once you start using the the package you'll really really get the feel of the 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 add-on suite you're really gonna like it if you don't have the outline here on the chat window just right click the general tab or any tab that doesn't have it go to font size and just click the same font i don't know it's a little bug it's been around a while or you could increase the font to 16 maybe make it a little clearer but that'll fix the outline on the chat area over here another thing that i really recommend is when you're going to the opui 3.0 profiles you, I recommend create after going to that profile, creating a new pro profile and for each character and copying from that profile. And what I mean by that is when you're over here at this option, create a new one, like put in your character's name and then click copy from OPUI 3.0. This way, if you go into another character or you have an alt or something and you change something up over there, it's not going to affect your other character's UI. Like for example, if you put an action bar here on your tank, and then you go back to your rogue, there's going to be an action bar here because you edited that profile. So you just want to make sure that you create different profiles for different players. Another thing to note is just be patient with the updates. Uh, I'm going to definitely be updating, but if you have any questions about anything, feel free to definitely post in WoW interface or hit me up on the Tuck UI forums. You can message me there. Uh, my, my name there is Mute TV. Um, so that's pretty much it for the installation. If Again, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. But if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button as it really, really helps me out. helps my channel out. helps me. Uh, gives me the motivation to keep going and updating this add-on package for you guys. 
and if you're not subscribed to the channel already definitely hit that subscribe button to stay locked in and for all the updates on the interface and even some other games and technology reviews as well it's a pretty cool channel it's growing every day so but other than that thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace